What's going on guys? My name is Joe and today we are finished with the clan war leagues. Thankfully, it's over. The missed matches are over. I did mess up. I messed up very bad. I missed my last attack. I should be removed from the clan immediately. Remove him immediately! No, <laughs> I got a little tied up with editing. My bad. So anyways, yeah, so we got some uh, trophies. We did get demoted. Uh, mismatches. What can you do? You just you move on. So we drop down to Master 3, uh, maybe next season. And then we're going to, uh, you know what? As a matter of fact, we should have some Clan War League medals to spend. You know what I'm going to do? Let's go ahead and burn off a Hammer of Heroes because we need to do a King Upgrade. I mean, why not? It's a week long. It's, I, I could use those for training potions, but we're going to do the king instead. So let's go ahead and send him up to level 61. Here you come. And boom, boom. And yes, I'm sure. I'm positive. Stop asking me. Just do it. All right. Now we are king level 61. So we're going to take a look at some uh, MVPs from the war. Um, you know, we were we lost, but, you know, you still attack whether you're losing or not. I would, At least I would hope, you know, like you get some medals and stuff for it. You know, you still get some points for attacking. The clans. I love showing the clans' attacks because they're they're just awesome. They're really awesome to watch. And so we got a bat slap going on here. Bat slap on this very interesting base design. But you see the problem here, guys. I, I hope you see it. See the wizard towers? They're all up in the northern, northwestern side of the base. And then you got the three inferno towers all set to the single target mode this is bad this calls for witches and that's exactly what clans is going to do he's going to start out with some balloons and he's got two e-drags so the e-drags are perfect for this situation you got the buildings on both sides and the e-drags are going to clear out and funnel those buildings that way our ice golems and witches go directly into the base now we do have clan castle troops which happens to be a dragon and balloon pretty standard stuff poison spell If you notice on the bottom side of this base, there is only one wizard tower. There's actually one right here as well that's gonna get it's gonna get taken out by the bats eventually, but it does get missed, and there's actually one right there as well. It's okay though, don't worry about it. We got plenty of free spells to get this job done. So the bats are gonna go into that first wizard tower, they're gonna move down into the archer tower and follow these defenses all the way around the base. And this attack is just beautiful to watch on the correct basis. So, I mean, by now, if you guys haven't figured it out, it is single target Inferno Towers and Wizard Towers. You get rid of those items, and for the most part, you should be good to go. But, again, there could be some things that goes wrong, and the hero levels do play a role. But uh, let's go ahead and speed this up. That way, you guys can see the army for yourselves. And then we're going to take a look at a Town Hall 11 attack. Um, I believe it's Fobear, actually. Faux bear, yeah, I think it's faux bear. Town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 11, and we have a queen charge, Lalo. So, queen charge, lava hounds, balloons, good time, really good attack strategy. If you are into this, you definitely need to learn it. If you haven't already, it's awesome. Now, I suck with it, so don't, you know... I'm just going to show it to you, but don't get, expect me to go doing it now. So we got the king and the queen. So king is obviously clearing. He's funneling, and he's going to push this queen inside the base. You have a baby dragon also assisting with the process. And we're trying to clear out some of those buildings over there on the western side to get this queen to go into the base. So she's going to take down this wizard tower. And then there's going to be a rage spell drop you know, due to her health and taking on two different expos and an archer tower at the same time. And then there's going to be a jump spell place for her to take out this gold storage and move into both expos so she's gonna get a ton of value here also drawing the clan castle troops as well so she's gonna deal with an expo and then she's gonna have to deal with this lava hound and balloon So here in a moment, you're going to see a stone slammer dropped. I'm waiting for it. It's coming. There it goes. So there goes the stone slammer moving into an archer tower, and then it's going to move down into the wizard tower. 
I was hoping it was going to go into the air defense, and I'm pretty sure that's what our attacker wanted as well. But it's going to get pushed away, and then the balloons are going to be released due to that air defense taking it out. And then you're going to see balloons, lava hounds moving through the base, heading down towards the south. And looks like we have two air defenses remaining, two balloons or two groups of balloons moving into the hidden Teslas, a group moving into that Inferno Tower, and then our troops are going to move into that second to last air defense, taking it down, following the back half of the base with minions. The minions are going to clean from back behind, and then you got pups dealing with that frozen queen. The queen is going to go down, down goes the queen, and you also have the Grand Warden's ability that's going to basically keep our balloons alive till the back end of the base. So, I mean, absolutely beautiful negotiation of this base and balloons are dealing with some air set skeleton traps so that's a little bit of a problem but they're going to get in on that final air defense take it down and then they're going to move into that final inferno tower all you got left is a cannon we got a queen her ability was just used so that's phenomenal and she's going to get stuck on a wall which is pretty typical for her and we're going to speed this up that way you can see the army for yourself and we're going to get into one more attack and for our final attack we do have this very wonky base it's a town hall 11 versus is Town Hall 11 attack and this is again another La Lo attack uh, only this time around we do not have the Queen charge we're just gonna send a wall wrecker and bowlers and the Queen and Grand Warden and King directly into this Queen's location there's also an air defense there and another one in the core of this base we got two single target Inferno towers so single targets pretty popular right now even though they do have a major weakness versus multiple things obviously in this situation we also have a balloon army instead of witches so you're gonna get to see this group move into a very dense location of giant bombs my goodness lots of giant bombs in there Graham warden's ability is going to be used to save the life of our bowlers and they're going to power through with the queen and continue to the core of this base taking on a clan castle you're going to start seeing the balloons and lava hounds moving in very soon the queen's ability is going to be used and that lava hound is going to start from that western corner move across the base and you got groups of balloons moving in individually across into these defenses you got point defenses here hay spell carrying that first group down into the archer tower and then another haste to drop our balloons to launch them up into that second to last air defense and then you're going to see the follow-on balloons and lava hound come up from the southeast up into that final air defense so we got air set skellies you're going to see that rage spell drop to boost up the power of all of our balloons and a freeze spell dropped in the location of the air defense so awesome awesome uh, carry with that free spell carrying those balloons through that area up into the final defenses in the wizard tower you got to freeze that wizard tower and give our balloons a chance so those balloons are going to get in on that wizard tower take it down and then they're going to move in very slowly to that final archer tower we still have two balloons in the composition so phenomenal phenomenal attack here by anthony I, I i got nothing else that's just that's just beautiful work so i really hope you guys were able to have a really good clan war league um this season was not very kind to us uh, I, I guess our composition was a little too light if you will uh you know 12s 11s 10s 9s i think next season we were kind of discussing and i've seen a little bit of chatter about it, about dropping back down to 15 versus 15 and taking all the heavyweights we'll see how that plays out next season but it's just not very friendly for clans that don't have all 12s i don't know uh that's just the experience that i've had with it so far but hopefully you guys have had better experiences out there with it if you want any other further on explanations click one of those videos over there if you enjoyed the content today smash that like button subscribe if you haven't done so already and thanks for watching guys